languish in this rugged path of the forest i am not getting proper sleep so he did not sleep well add that well after sleep if you remove that word he did not sleep wrong so rama and lakshmana were sleeping vishwamitra got up at 3:45 itself early to bed early to rise he got up at 3:45 he wanted a cup of coffee many people they love coffee after they get up and before they sleep like it is like that uh, pranavam before vedam and after vedam madhva swami pejavar swami used to humbly and in a very humorous way state every morning you take coffee it is aradhanam he used to say shuklam baradharam white color milk shuklam baradharam vishnum shashivarnam chaturbhujam the person who gives coffee has two hands the one who receives it has two hands four hands chaturbhujam after you have it prasanna vadanam happy face dhyayet sarva vighna upashantaye that day will be excellent used to state pejavar swami so vishwamitra got up at 345 now he looks at rama kausalya who is sleeping there you should have started with rama right kausalya she is 75 miles away kausalya praja son son of kausalya kausalya praja no then he thought no no he is the good son of see everybody has children but they will think twice before putting the adjective good do you have children yes sir are they good wait when children make the parents think so he was a good son to kaushalya how did he know he was good because the way you sleep itself tells you it seems how good you are supraja the way he sleeps today we all go to shrirangapatnam we go to shrirangam spending so many hours of our road buying 400 rupees ticket you go and stand in the queue journalist comes whom are you going to see ranganatha what is he doing sleeping <laughs> see to see a person sleep we go that far why because when he sleeps he is so beautiful sukha supta parantapa shriman he looks so handsome and civilized while he is even sleeping so rama was sleeping kausalya supraja 345 he started now it is 445 so one hour just two words he is a carnatic musician iha baragati ninne indira ramana 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 iha bar Iha baragati ni ne has he forgotten the next line? Iha bar this is called nerval in Carnatic music where you you delineate one particular line. Kausalya praja kausalya supraja praja four forty five one hour. Why, sir? He should have told the next word. What is the next word? Rama. why he refused to say because this name was given to this boy by vasishtha right how can i call it amma canteen <laughs> i have to change it appa canteen other <laughs> indira how can i call that name they gave but 5 o'clock vishwamitra said I have worked all my life to stand at par with Vasishtha. I have achieved it, but if there is one place where I have to face defeat, it is here. I will call him Rama, the same name given to him by Vasishtha, because there couldn't have been a better word. Kausalya Supraja Rama, that particular Rama. who's mentioned here 
is found in Vishnu Sahasranamam. So Ramaha, Yascharamam na pashyetu, Yancharamo na pashyati. There used to be a saying in Ayodhya, the one who has not seen Rama, or the one who has not been seen by Rama, should not exist in this world. Either Rama should have seen you, or you should have seen Rama. There used to be a great uh, Pravachana Karta called Jayarama Sharma. So Jayarama Sharma had immense devotion for the deity of Guruvayur called Guruvayurappan or Krishna. You know, certain Kshetrams have that pull. Every Kshetram is important, but certain Kshetrams have excess pull. For a variety of reasons. I don't know if you have heard of this Kshetram called Tripunitura. Any Malayalam speaking person here? Yeah. So there is a Kshetram called Tripunitura near Ernakulam. The beauty of the Lord will just stain your eyes. He is called Purnatrayeshan. Ninnum palatara ratnangal chertulla ponnum kiridamum paladeshe nannayalangari chidum tilagavum purnatra ishvara kanangenam mallika banande kai talame vina villilaga kambilallalegum chillinagagalum nasika bangiyum purnatra ishvara kanangenam So beautiful. So Jairama Sharma, the moment he developed that beautiful love for Krishna of Guruvayur, he went along with his friend to Guruvayur for the first time. He saw the Lord there. Extremely impressed with the Lord, he wanted to be. But the moment he came out, he started crying. His friend asked, Jairama Sharma, why are you crying after seeing the Lord? He said, see the crowd pushed me. I couldn't see the Lord. I went all the way to Guruvayur to see the Lord. But the crowd pushed me so much that I couldn't see the Lord. That moment, the person who had come said, See, you have told us in your Upanyasam, the Lord has to see us. You may have not seen him. He has seen you. How will you prove it? Asked Jairama Sharma. You remember yesterday you said, Sandrananda Vabodhatmaka Manupamitam Kaladesha Vadibhyam Nirmuktam Nityamuktam Nigamashata Sahasrena Nirbhasyamanam Aspashtam Drishtamatre Punarha Urupurushartatmakam Drishtamatre He has seen you. So Ramayanam says Rama has to see or we have to see Rama. If the person is saying I am not sure whether Rama has seen, I have not seen Rama. Don't live in this world. Okay. In those days, in the Tamil literature, there used to be a saying, if you do not know Thirupava, you should not live in Tamil Nadu. All our leaders have to come out of the state. <laughs> huh? How many of them know Thirupava? They are ready to protest for protecting Tamil, but how will they protect Tamil? So, Rama Namam. Ramadas tells, Shri Ramani Namami Mi Ruchir O Ramani Namam Yenta Ruchir That Namam, Rama Namam comes in Vishnu Sahasra Namam. Why that name has been chosen by which Rishi? Vasishtha. What is the second feature of Vishnu Sahasra Namam? Rishi Bhiv Pariganataha. Rishis have chosen this name. You know, I keep getting these messages, Instagrams. I am going to deliver a kid. Please give some names. How can I suggest names? See, they will have their own wish to call something. I say, you choose. Sir, you have to tell. So I say, you look into Vishnu Sahasra Nama. Whichever Nama you like, you ask me. Every Nama is beautiful. But they will keep writing. Sir, please choose. Please choose. Please choose. I said, Sarva Praharana Yudha. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> Keep this name. Sarva Praharana Yudha. Every Namam is important. Okay. What is the third feature? First feature? Mahabharata Saratvat. Second. Rishi Bhiv Pari Ganataha. Third feature. Vedacharya Samaharat. 
ఐ విల్ రీడ్ అవుట్ ద వ్యాఖ్యానం ఫర్ దిస్ కృష్ణ ద్వైపాయన పరమాప్తతమ భగవన్నారాయణ అవతార విశేషేణ నిరతిశయాన ఐశ్వర్యాది కళ్యాణ గుణకతయా నిరస్త సమస్త విప్రలంబ దోషాది లుక్ ఎట్ ద వర్డ్స్ దట్ భట్టర్ యూసెస్ యర్ వై వేద వ్యాస హు హెస్ కంపైల్డ్ సి భీష్మాచార్య మైట్ హెవ్ సెట్ రిమెంబర్ మహాభారతం అండ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ the thousand names of narayana vishnu is in vishnu sahasranamam which is in uh, mahabharatam but while bhishma acharya was answering and yudhishthira was asking veda vyasa was not there you are able to understand how did veda vyasa know because veda vyasa could see from a distance he was somewhere near uttarakhand badrinath mana that was the village hastam avalakam gata like a gooseberry that can be clearly visible to the eyes when it is found in the palm so where things visible so he compiled so bhishma acharya answered yudhishthira question but was compiled by veda vyasa so veda vyasa is also a stakeholder to vishnu sahasranamam that is why we offer our obeisances to him vyasay vishnu roopaya vyasa roopaya vishnave who is vyasa the great grandson of వశిష్ట వశిష్ట నప్తారం నప్త మీన్స్ గ్రేట్ గ్రాండ్ సన్ శక్తే పౌత్రం సన్ గ్రాండ్ సన్ ఆఫ్ శక్తి పరాశరాత్మజం సన్ ఆఫ్ పరాశర శుక తాతం ఫాదర్ ఆఫ్ శుక సన్ శుక గేవస్ భాగవతం ఫాదర్ గేవస్ విష్ణు సహస్రనామం మహాభారతం హిస్ ఫాదర్ పరాశర గేవస్ విష్ణు విష్ణు పురాణం గ్రేట్ గ్రాండ్ ఫాదర్ వశిష్ట వాజ్ ఆచార్య ఫర్ రామాయణ రామాయణం వన్ ఫ్యామిలీ రామాయణం మహాభారతం విష్ణు పురాణం భాగవతం ఓవర్ వాట్ అమిలీ ఇట్ వాస్ లీనియేజ్ సి వెన్ దేర్ యూస్ టు బి అ కాన్సెప్ట్ కాల్డ్ అరేంజ్ మ్యారేజెస్ దేర్ యూస్ టు లుక్ ఇన్ టు దట్ ఫ్యామిలీ లీనియేజ్ రైట్ దే యూస్ టు మేక్ సుజ్జి బజ్జి ఇన్ ద హౌస్ దెన్ ద బాయ్స్ side will come the girl has to take and walk all the sujji baji they'll check if she's walking well so they these were all background checks now it is front so you ask her to walk oh her legs are good what about for the boy sir immediately some mahanubhava will cut this 10 seconds from this video and circulate it patriarchal dushyant boycott <laughs> for the boy how will you do the background check that is when they used to do a janavasam the previous day to the marriage they will make that boy sit in an ambassador car used to put lot of roses with cello tape then some third party's child they will be sitting between the boy and the girl there nagaswaram will be walking in the front some mummies will be carrying the badam plate slowly the car will go like how it is walk coming in our outer ring road <laughs> huh? why because to do the background check for the boy because some lady may say oh he was married to me <laughs> you are getting the point why they used to take the car the vehicle in a very slow fashion because people will spot whether this boy is our son in law their house's son in law <laughs> so there was a check done for the boy and the girl so then during the ceremony where the boy side come and see the girl they will introduce the boy see that person he is the uh, grandfather of this boy he, he published the ramayana in way back in 1888 mohtilal all banaras publishers who is he the father of the boy he published vishnu purana who is this the boy what has he done nothing <laughs> he has only the lineage with him vyasam vasishtha naptaram shakte pautram akalmasham parasharatmajam bande shukatatam tapo nidhim who is this vyasa ఆచాతూరు వదనోర్ బ్రహ్మ హీస్ బ్రహ్మ మైనస్ త్రీ ఫేసెస్ ఆ చతుర్ వదనోర్ బ్రహ్మ హు ఈస్ హీ విష్ణు ద్విబాహుర్ అపరో హరి హీస్ హరి మైనస్ టూ హ్యాండ్స్ అఫాల లోచన శంభు హీస్ శంభు శివ మైనస్ వన్ ఐ భగవాన్ బాదరాయణ సో హీస్ బ్రహ్మ మైనస్ త్రీ హెడ్స్ విష్ణు మైనస్ టూ హ్యాండ్స్ శివ మైనస్ వన్ ఐ his name is vedavyasa viparyaya the qualification why vyasa is to be celebrated and his compilation needs to be celebrated is viparyaya he was away and bereft of defects such as forgetfulness 
it's a defect in sanatana dharma you can never manage to be forgetful sir ondu 10 disak munche ondu devasthana hogide yenadu yeno ondu saanta shuru agutte ba anta mugiyatte ma anta hogutte ba sa and all you should not say you should remember sir how to do that you tell sir well we agree that forgetfulness is wrong how to remember shastra vakyam there is a line kalanjannam na bhakshayet what you eat is what you are there are other factors of course there is pollution today we can't do much about it how long can i keep saving soil and water right things are beyond my control but certain things which is under my control kalanjannam na bhakshayet see sanatana dharma doesn't state that everyone has to be a vegetarian remember this line very carefully rama had non veg food in shrimad ramayana very clear he was a kshatriya he could have brahmanas at one point in time had non veg food very well found in our shastras but over a period of time from the times of agastya who came to the dakshina bharatam he said for the profession that you are in you don't need that food you should have minimum food and survive then he gave like a dietitian today every 2 hours have this quinoa 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 uh, brown rice black rice uh, purple rice like that he gave he said avoid these particular vegetables why because for your profession memory is very important if you are a brahmana doesn't mean kshatriya should memory is not important see sanatana dharma doesn't state that everybody has to be a vegetarian it says vegetarianism is preferred correct when we were telling all these years that try being a vegetarian people used to hurl abuses now are you vegan <laughs> are baba all these years we were close to being we are we were semi vegan correct so i think we need to package our sentences really well i think but oh no please avoid yourself and abstain yourself from those that have if you tell like this people i think but oh Oh, no no he is illiterate you have to package it very beautifully you know you will have to come with that poise and that style to make it sound really intellectual it will just be something very basic so here veda vyasa was beyond these defects of forgetfulness why is forgetfulness wrong because nobody when on stage will like to call themselves forgetful if they forget something quickly they will tell something which is illogical right you will always want to debate and tell that what i've told is right because you are forgetful if you are if you are true you will quote if you are true you will quote that reference if you know there is a concept in the south of india especially in the state of tamil nadu that ancient tamil literature is not vedic why because they can't quote i will quote in tiruviruttam tiruvasiriyam periya tiruvandadi and tiruvai moli the four beautiful esoteric works of nammalvar he says irukkar moliyil he talks about rigvedam he talks about chandoga samavedam chandogya upanishad says kapyasam pundarikam eva makshini for parabrahmam the eyes will be like the petals of a newly blossomed lotus with the serene waters of a pond anaitulagum tolum aravindalochanan says alvar so in what way it is not vedic it is completely vedic ancient tamil literature if you go by intellect and without bulldozing and bombarding on the other person if you have to prove by references it is vedic but if you want to keep going on to your same theory which is absolutely baseless then you can call it avaidik veda vyasa was beyond all of this so vedacharya samaharat veda veda vyasa is so great uh, how do we know he is so great i have given this example in many places people who have heard my youtube videos think it is a revision people who have not heard it listen to it for the first time or even if people who have heard it act as if you are listening for the first time okay 
See, Vyasa was so great. How do we know that? Vyasa's father Parashara celebrates him. Sir, father celebrating the son is not new. In Tamil Nadu, it is called Chidambara Rahasyam. <laughs> right? The father supports and defends his son also. You are talking about father hailing his son as something great. No, because if you are following scriptures in those days, parents should never praise children. That was a Shastra Vakya. You don't have to hurl abuses, but you should not praise. But today, we wake up and sleep with praise. My dear child, when there were floods in Bangalore, you were the one who lifted the mountain and protected the entire Bangalore. The child starts feeling it. Today everything is praise. I am sure the elderly people here who are twice my age in your experience will know. None of your parents would have praised you. Right? Why? Doesn't mean people in those days were foolish or people who were averse to their children's achievements. Shastram tells don't praise your children. You have to praise your guru in front of him. Pratyakshe guravastutyat. But don't praise your children. Sir, you are telling this on one side. But on the other side you are telling Vyasacharya was praised by his father Parashara. Isn't this an oxymoron? Shastram tells parents should not praise. But Parashara praised his son Vyasa. Isn't it contrary? No. There is an exception to every general rule. There, I, for this I have to go to another example from Ramayana. See, this is Upanyasam. Upanyasam is connected everywhere. I will connect and come back to that point. Some people ask, Sir, Allah, okay, sir. You will in the only, only in the only, only in the open pravachana. See, if it is classroom lecture, then I have to say, the next word is Dravina Pradaha. <laughs> this is, then it becomes classroom lecture. Then you can go to any of the universities and sit. Pravachanam is intertwining stories. Okay, in Srimad Ramayanam, we come across this beautiful incident where the father, Janaka Maharaja, Siradhvaja, his title was Janaka. Remember, all kings of Nepal were called Janaka. That was a title. The name of Sita's father was Siradhvaja. He did not have children for a very long time. Then he did the Putra Kameshti Yagyam because he heard that Dasharatha did that. Neighboring kingdom, even I will try, he did. He tilled the land. He found a basket while he was tilling. In that was lying a child who was orphaned. This child was picked up. Since she emerged by the tip of the plow that touched the basket, she was called Tasi when reversed became Sita. So Sita was brought up. How was Janaka, Siradhvaja, especially this king was very, very selfless. Though he was asked to administer, he was not avaricious in getting all the possessions to himself. So much so that one day his Acharya wanted to tell the world what kind of a person this land has been bequeathed with, which is Janaka. He created an illusionary fire in Mithila. Everything started burning. People started running here and there. That time the Acharya asks Janaka, Janaka, please go and protect your mahal, your palace, your possessions, your ratham. Janaka says, Sir, burning is Mithila. Burning are the possessions in Mithila. But none of those possessions are mine. If it is my country, my palace, I will go and protect. I do I have not created it. Pradiptayam Mithilayam Name Kinchit Pradahyate. Burning is Mithila. None of it is mine. He did not have this Mamakaram. He had one over Mamakaram. Nandu. Mama. Na na deshagalalli, na na bandhu galalli, na na yoni galalli, na lido putti, na nu na na do yamba na ragado lage bidu, ni ne gati yandu, nam bidadasan, 
ಮೇಲೇ ಇನ್ನುದಯ ಬಾರದೆ ನಾನು ನನ್ನದು ಮಮಕಾರಂ ಹಿ ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಜನಕ ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಮಕಾರಂ ಬಟ್ ಈ ವೆನ್ ಇ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಟು ರಾಮ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಯಂ ಸೀತಾ ಮಮ ಸುತ ಮೈ ಡಾಟರ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಜರ್ನಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ಇಷ್ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಆ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೈನ್ ಟುಡೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೀತಾ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನ್ how did you get that mamakaram today yes sir i did not have mamakaram but my daughter is so well disciplined and so beautiful and so very respectful she has made the word mama come out of my mouth too nane helbekandre she must be that great similarly a person called parashara who conforms to shastram where shastram tells do not praise your son if he says my son vedavyasa is the greatest then what should i speak vedavyasa is the greatest vedacharya samahara so what is the namam for vedavyasa 579th namam vachaspati eloquence see generally people when they speak in the public they will say something then there will be a huge controversy then they will give a clarification see what i meant was whether he meant or not he has to come up with that line why that is why some of them will say you should think and speak some people take it very seriously they will think they will keep thinking slowly one line will come after 10 minutes huh? my duration is 2 and 1/2 hours in this if i ramayana dali valmiki hing maatadidre when will i finish so you have to think and speak the gap between thinking and speaking should be 0.01th of a second it should be that quick vachaspati hi if you want good speech tell this nama vachaspataye namaha every day you tell you will become a good speaker next bharatiya vidyabhavan lecture will be yours <laughs> first feature mahabharata saratvat second ऋषिभिः परिगानतः थर्ड वेदाचार्य समाहारात फोर्थ भीष्मोत्कृष्ट मतत्वतः भीष्म हैज गिवन सी अंडरस्टैंड व्यासा हैज कंपाइल्ड हु हैज अटर्ड विष्णु सहस्रनामम भीष्म व्हाट इज द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ भीष्म सी आई विल टेल यू द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ भीष्म फ्रॉम वन इंसिडेंट ऑफ श्री महाभारत भीष्म वाज लाइंग ऑन द बेड ऑफ फेरोस the 10th or 11th day he fell then the yuddham happened for another 5 7 8 days 18th day yuddham got over yudhishthira became the king they were all settled he learned rajya dharma moksha dharma then they all went back this man was left to fend for himself on the bed of arrows correct why didn't he die because there was a boon mentioned by vyasa ichha mrityu only when he wishes he will die that is why he has seen so many generations he has seen his brothers chitrangada vichitravirya die he has seen the children of him of his brothers pandu die pandu's children uh, pandavas he has seen in pandavas children he has seen abhimanyu abhimanyu's son parikshit he has seen Ab- abhimanyu also die so six generations he is the dumbledore of mahabharata <laughs> overlived person still he is not dead he is lying on the bed of arrows because he was waiting for a kalam called uttarayana punya kalam when the sun's rays trace the northern hemisphere roughly in the first half of the year mid of the first half from sankramanam we call it shankaranti right that is when the uttarayana punya kalam begins i will tell you why that uttarayanam is important tomorrow remember this tomorrow you have to remind who is going to come tomorrow it's a technical question ha eh? you have to remind me uttarayanam i have to explain because uttarayanam's importance is mentioned in vishnu sahasranamam in one of the namas well bishmacharya was lying on the bed of arrows everybody had left krishna had gone back to dwaraka came to majama then he was playing dice with his wife rukmini he has gone to 301 301 is rukmini's chamber 302 is satyabhama it is like one big hotel you know every room to one one jambavati krishnan is in one room uh, satya mitravinda is in one room each room 301 he was in rukmini's antapuram they were playing dice 
Suddenly, Krishna stopped playing and tears started rolling down his cheeks. Rukmini, is everything okay with you? Krishna asked to why. Generally, you make others cry. <laughs> now you are crying. What has happened to you? That time Krishna tells, Sharatalpa gato bhishmaha, Shamyan niva hutashanaha. Rukmini, in a few seconds from now, Bhishma's Jeevatma is going to leave his body. For after having lived like easily 150, 170 years, Sharatalpa Gato Bhishmaha, that Jeevatma is going to depart. If that Jeevatma departs, Rukmini, listen, hear it from me. Jnani naha alpi bhavishyanti, they will be a scar.